Unresolved problem segment tonight, chaos in American public schools. Over the past five years, the St. Paul, Minnesota School District has spent nearly $3 million on white privilege training done by a far-left outfit called the Pacific Educational Group. That training tells teachers to overlook transgressions by minority students, to treat them differently than white students. Some teachers in St. Paul, according to the EAG News website, which broke the story, are furious the schools have lost almost all discipline now. Last night I talked with Aaron Benner, who teaches fourth grade minority students in St. Paul. He says he was almost fired for complaining. You're teaching at an elementary school and uh, you're seeing behavior, not in your class, but in the cafeteria and school grounds, that's getting worse, correct? That is correct. All right, what was the behavior that was disturbing you? We are concerned about the behavior of other students throughout the building, our school, and what we see in the hallways. You're teaching your class, and a student from another classroom just opens up your door, runs in, grabs a computer, grabs a computer, throws it down, and runs out. That's pretty, dis uh, pretty disrupting for anybody. But you would see that same student who came into your classroom and disrupted it still in the school. And that's mind-boggling. You're like, where are the consequences? What's going on around here? So did you report, did you yourself report bad behavior to your, to the principal, vice principal, whatever the structure is, and, and nothing was done? In December of 2011, when I was working at another school, the behaviors were, were so out of control that I addressed the St. Paul School Board by myself. And I told them, it breaks my heart to see children who look like me behave so poorly in our schools and nothing's being done. What did they come back to you with? Basically, you know, it was pretty much an empty boardroom in uh, December of 2011, and there was sporadic clapping after my speech, and that was it, nothing. But what about the school that you worked in when you said, you gotta help me, you gotta discipline these kids who are running wild? What did they say to now, you? And I had an altercation with the student where the student actually punched me. Uh, I restrained the student, brought the student into the principal, and uh, I didn't want the student to be incarcerated. However, I wanted some consequences. That student was returned back to my class, Mr. O'Reilly, within 10 minutes. That's when I knew there was a problem in St. Paul Public Schools. I knew that there must have been some sort of directive to keep these kids in school, in the classroom, no matter what. Did they ever say anything to you why they returned a student who punched you into your class? Did you ever get an explanation? Not I never got, the only explanation was the student has said he is sorry and he's back in your room. Oh, and that was in 2000, that was in 2011. All right, now you have put a lot of the blame for this on the Pacific Educational Group, which consults to some St. Paul schools. What does that group do? We have to go where we have mandated training and they're basically letting people know that white privilege and white people's biases are hampering black students from learning. That's PEG in a nutshell. I think we're just crippling our black children in St. Paul by making excuses because we are trying to close the achievement gap. However, the ways we are trying to close the achievement gap are making things worse. All right, so they're saying that if a child misbehaves, a child is late to class, a child uses profanity, um, uh, all of that, it's not the child's fault, it's the white culture of America's fault? Let's say a student swears at you. You'll be questioned, what did you do to trigger that response? Did you understand that child? They're just trying to lower the, uh, the behavior reforms and they're trying to lo lower suspensions, but by the, the ways they're doing it, it's not working. So what's the solution? The solution, and one of the solutions I gave to the school board in May of 2014, I said we must, we must engage our black parents in helping them with their children. I said we can make excuses all we want, but until we have parents on board, nothing's going to change. Yeah. Now, but you're not going to get some of the parents on board. I used to teach, and they never showed up at the parent-teacher conferences. They didn't care, you know that. However, I, we just got a statement from uh, the St. Paul Public School System. It says you're going to be welcome back in your classroom in September. So that's a good thing. So keep speaking out. Keep doing the right thing. We appreciate it, Mr. Banner. Thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me. Have a good night, sir. And when we come right